This is a quick demo of Top Hat, an intuitive to use glide computer. It's an open source project based on XCSOAR. So this is the uh, icon here. It says Top Hat Beta. This is a uh, beta release. It's the first one. And it's up here it says based on XCSOAR 6.4.4. That version number should increase uh, as time goes on. I'm going to start up the simulator. Should look familiar to XCSOAR users. First thing we have is a tip bar. Um, don't show tips at startup. We can say next pre tip, previous tip. Um, in this case it says while flying you should be able to do anything you want from either the nav bar or the primary M menu. I'm going to close this window and the nav bar is this thing up here. You can slide it or you can click it. The M menu is this thing here. It's a four-way menu and we have these two new zoom buttons, zoom in and out here on the left. Uh, gestures have been disabled. If you want to pan, you just do a gesture and it pans automatically. And then you can zoom in with a plus button, zoom out with a minus button, turn pan off. Um, I have a task in here. You see it says Blairstown, Beltsville, Cutstown, Morgantown, and go back. This is like next previous, uh, it replaces the next previous buttons. So what we've been able to do by adding the taskbar, we can eliminate a bunch of buttons like the next previous task button. We can also eliminate the waypoint, the info boxes that show your next waypoint, the next waypoint altitude, uh, the next waypoint distance, the next waypoint bearing, that's all displayed in this taskbar. If I click the taskbar, I get a task menu. Um, I can edit the task. That takes us into the uh, the legacy task editor. I can see task statistics. I can see the turn point details for the task. Whoops, I clicked on something else. Uh, turn point details. I can see a list of my alternates and I can see a waypoint list. So I'm just going to click on the screen to clear that. So that's the nav bar. Um, and interestingly, let me in demo mode I can fly here. And I want to watch while the um, when we go through the start cylinder, there's the takeoff message. I want you to watch the uh, nav bar. And what happens is when you uh, start or when you uh, touch a cylinder, you get a little check mark by the name there. And it also should slide automatically in advance to the next um, turn point. Okay, so there's our start. And you can see it automatically went to Beltsville. Now if I look back at this, it has a check mark there. That shows I've actually have a valid start. Similarly, when I enter the Beltsville cylinder, I'll get a check mark there. So this, and you can see the feet, the kilometers to it, the bearing, um, and the destination. We've also added some information about the uh, final glide bar, which indicates that to complete your task, so we've added the word task here, that's the number of feet you need. And again, you have zoom plus, zooms in, zooms in, minus, zooms out, zoom out. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the menu button, this M button here. Tap that once. I get these, and these are the really the five things we think you're going to be doing frequently with a program. Changing your labels. So you can say this is same, uh, can show labels task and landables, labels task. And this sh shows you, uh, let me zoom out a little bit, your waypoint labels. Right now I've got it, um, this will set it to labels none when it says labels none. It's the same as XCSOAR. And labels all will show all my turn point labels. I've got a set auto zoom button, which is nice to have. You can turn that on and set zoom manual. That's the same as XCSOAR. Um, the, well, you can hide your terrain or show your terrain. Hide your topo, show your topo, and full screen, 
and you can scroll through your info boxes. We haven't done anything really with changing the layout there. Now if I hit the M again, I get my secondary menu. This has my thermal assistant and setting up wind options. If I hit it again, this is really a, a third menu that you're not going to use very much while you're flying, which is why we've buried it. You have to hit it three times. Whoops, let me do it again. One, two, three. And I can do set up devices, set up plane, or set up system. We can also do setting up our bugs and ballast or setting up our QNH before we take off. Um, those are pretty much the same as an XCSOAR. You do this mostly on the ground. And a fourth time, you've got your checklist, your weather. Uh, oops, we have QNH in there again. I'm going to have to, that's a bug. We'll have to fix that. We've got credits. The help shows the. Um, that tip window, let me click that again. So you can, we've got about 30 tips entered in here. Um, some basic stuff and some more advanced stuff. So you know, you can scroll through these tips. Um, add your gliders polar with a plane menu option. Okay. So if I wanted to do that, I'd go to plane. And here I've got a couple of planes here. And notice it says active, and I can activate this one, with the activate button. Um, do I want to activate? Yes, and it says activate there. This is pretty much the same as it works in uh, XC SOAR. And I can clear this menu at any time by clicking on it. Now, the other thing we've done is we've fixed up the screen a little bit. Um, let me just pan over to a... Uh... So let's say you um, click on something where there's... Here, here's a turn point. I click on the turn point. It goes right to the turn point. I don't get a fancy list of, of options. So I can immediately do a go to. So go to is as simple as one, two. Okay, and notice with a go to, it automatically replaces the uh, task in here with a destination of Stroudsburg. The final glide bar says it's final glide to STRU, which is the first five characters of Stroudsburg. So with go to, we are um, using the navigation bar also. Now if I want to resume the task, simply click on the navigation bar and now the menu has a resume button on it. So I click on resume and boom I'm back into my task, my, uh, my uh, assigned area task. Um, okay, one more thing about the uh, clicking on the map that we think is a little cl cleaner, easier to use. Let's say you want to, um, here's a assigned area task with a bunch of stuff in it. Let's click uh, here. So we've got a couple things here. We've got a drag target. We've added the, drag, the word drag in here. We've got a turn point. So if I go to drag target, now it says drag target instead of details. Again, these are just little things we've changed, and we hope it makes it easier to use. So I say drag target, and now we're in the uh, drag target screen uh, that should look familiar to you. Um, similarly, let me just go in there again, and I'm going to click on here where there's a, uh, and oh, in this case, I clicked in the yellow area where the only thing is the drag target, so it takes me right to the drag target. I don't have to go to a list. But if I do click on something where there's multiple things, like here's a turn point, this DETA, it's also in an airspace, it's also in a drag, to, uh, drag area, so it's really three things. So it's going to ask me what I want to do up here. Uh, do I want to do look at the turn point with the details? It says details. Do I want to drag the target? It says drag target. Do I want to look at this Allentown airspace, look at the details? And then the stuff that is not clickable is uh, it's demoted and shown at the bottom as just information about the terrain. In this case, it says it was 63.6 .6 kilometers away, and the direction was uh, 244 degrees, um, and some altitude information about the exact location I clicked on the map. Um, and we demoted that, so the primary information that you click on is at the top of the map. So, um, for example, oh, I think that's enough about that. Um, one other small change we've made is uh, to the um, info boxes. If you uh, just a quick click on an info box, let's just say G glide ratio instantaneous. Uh, you get your help screen with a little gear to configure it. The help screen shows the task. I think XESOR does that. We click on that. And we've got all of our um, 
whoops. Uh, click, click on there, click on the, the gear which does the uh, setup. We can change this. Uh, this is another project we haven't done yet, which is simplify this whole thing. But let's say just change this to um, uh, altitude. Select. So we basically eliminated the long clips on the info boxes with a short click. Um, so I want to show you one more thing. I don't know what, why I have Vario here. I'm going to change this to McCready setting. And this is this is definitely something we want to f simplify here. With the McCready, it's a nice big screen. I can say one knot up, two knot up, uh, 1.1, 1.2 knots up, close. It sets my McCready automatically. So that's about it. Um, we're Again, this is it's uh, called Top Hat. It's a derivative of XC Soar. It also runs on the uh, Nook Simple Touch if you want to do that. This is a Dell Streak 5, and the goal of this project is to uh, create an intuitive user interface uh, for a Glide computer.